Hello gamers and welcome back to Let's Play Banished with the Colonial Charters mod here in Reykjavik. So I did build lots of houses, food situation is okay-ish but needs to improve. <clears throat> and I've actually started uh, building uh, new stuff over here, accommodation and the like. Also a small barn, this is a small market. I'm not going to buy anything right now and I think I need to work on the uh, lock situation a bit as well and I think I will um, I will start some some wood production up here because it's close to both um, uh, where is it? this forest's lodge but also this one and I might even go further and build another one over here so I think building something here is a good idea. But also I've got the problem that I don't have that many people. Let's actually go for three builders. Or f maybe even five. Because they will go back to being laborers. If they don't have anything to build. Um, I said now I have a lot of stone. Now the food production, I could increase actually a little bit. Let's maybe, yeah, have one more fisherman as well. And I should start uh, producing some food up here as well eventually. Now I want these seven people to work on the construction sites mainly. And I can also already assign a chopper, I won't use a woodcutter. Hmm. Would that be enough or should I maybe go for go for a proper one? Almost as fast as a regular sawmill. Produces lumber or firewood. Water wheel sawmill. Up to three cutters. Very fast work speed. Maybe I should go for that. Up to three workers, it said, didn't it? Up to three cutters. And that's a water wheel sawmill. I could maybe just increase the number of workers over here now well then I've got enough tools now so they can stop working and um, let me take a quick look at the sawmill where do I else where else do I use them at the lumber yard So they are creating firewood and they are as well. But I think at this location nevertheless uh, it would be good to have something. And it might if I already going if I'm already going to build something, it might as well be the uh, water wheel sawmill. I think it would fit quite nicely here. Why is that too close? Does it look shite? I think it looks okay, right? I think it's a perfect match. Let's build it. Let's also check how how much lumber I've actually got. Inventory. 
we are at 73, that's quite a bit. I don't need to start producing that. What I need though is more fields, I think. Because I'm on more food production, I'm really running out of food. There are homeless people here as well. I've got lots of stone, which means I can actually uh, build some more houses. Very same one. And let's give them some space to breathe. And let's put a road there as well. Not that it's needed, but I think it'll look better. And maybe here as well. And this is like the main road, and I'm actually inclined to pave it. Stone Road much faster travel for citizens. Let's go for the Stone Road. I've got a lot of stone and I think I can use it and make them travel faster. Up to the bridge. maybe cover this corner here as well and there are lots of people living here but maybe maybe to he to here for to begin with it's going to be the barn and the stockpile which means I need some more houses up here So, and it just fits, I give them some space in front, I don't want it to be too tight. But this is supposed to be like a small community up here. I will add some dog houses maybe. And I might even build a, a bridge here, a small one to go through here, but well, they don't necessarily need to walk from here to here, they either need to go down or to these structures from the houses, so. I've still got enough storage capacity. Other okay, they are now nicely working on uh, the pavement. I still have lots of stone. This is almost full, but it's not yet. I think the priority up here should be the houses. And the barn, actually. Even more so the barn. Now, with regard to the food situation, I could maybe uh, start working here again. I 
currently have no one working on, on, on tools. That's obviously not so good, so one person should work here. The other two are working here, I think. Yeah. Still have a lot of furnace fuel, or industrial fuel, that's really good. The barn is almost ready and they are building the well here, just in case. The fire breaks out. And as you can see, people are dying eventually, and I need more stuff. Okay, the barn is here, that's very good, to be honest. And transporting from here to here is okay, I think. I need lots of stone. Which makes me think I'm going to, um, in particular because there's a settlement up there, work on that road as well. I do have the stone. Now there are lots of trees here, really nice and pretty. Is that going to be anything? It's a stockpile only? Okay, that can stay like that. And then let's build a stone road here as well. And I think because these people are predominantly working in this direction, I will build a uh, stone road here as well. Now I will start considering building a butcher. Maybe slow down the time a little bit. And let's go for the butcher stalls. A sheep butcher. There's a small market here, I think. Yes. So the production buildings go here. Is it like a chicken butcher or something? No. Let's put it here. Dirt road. Nice. I also like the soundtrack. I don't know if there's such a great variety for the soundtrack, but um, it never feels boring somehow. Now, what I should consider is um, we're working here again. Simply because they are about to run out of stuff, and at least in this one. I want to double check how many candles I've still got in my inventory. Only 91, so I actually need one. Just need some more. Let's start working here again. And I should also consider building like a tailor. Because I produce all that wool. I could do with a tailor. Construction crafting. Potter, joiner, ropery. Glassworks, statue carver, copper, here. Used to make one cross to ward off the effect of winter, Taylor and Company. It's for advanced of seamstress guild. Weavers makes linen, cloth and silk out of flax, cotton and silkworm cocoons. Fiber water mill, bedding maker, and tannery. Let's 
Let's go for the ordinary tailor. Is it going to fit here? Yes. I think I'll just build it here at the water side. And I mean they have to collect stuff from here but and here but I think that's um, that's doable. Maybe if I build some more dirt road behind that as well and connect that. Good. Stone road has not yet been finished everywhere. Let's increase the number of builders. Here it might get a bit tight, but now it's going to be okay, I think. We shall see. What about the new area up here? The house is already, the well is here. The barn is ready, people are living here, getting children. This is almost ready. Let's build yet another row of houses. Make best use of it. And then I will start with, um, well, I can actually already start here as well with the vendor. I think that's enough houses to justify, to justify having one. Let's decrease the number of builders and increase the number of people working here and they shall make firewood. I still have enough lumber. Now things are going very smooth in this episode. The food, the amount of food is also good. Now, I'm not going to build houses here. What I could build here is more fields. If they fit it, 15 times eight it was, right? Yeah. So would it fit? Here it would. Let's have another crop field and I think I will put one eventually here as well as soon as I remove that stockpile. Um, let's actually put... What do I have here? Bean, lettuce and let's put soybean here. Let's have a farmer. And obviously I've now run out of uh, people. School is going to be super full eventually as well. And I also still need a butcher. But I think I can't tell him to butcher only a limited number or so. I'm going to keep four builders and laborers. Okay, this is now school house is full. I will need a new f a school house in due course. Maybe when I build a new major settlement. Or maybe even up here. Well, or here. Even more houses over here. Okay, the houses are going up. Stone road still not finished, I believe. It's not really prioritized anyway. The market is filling up. And now the firewood problem has been has clearly been solved. Which makes me want to reduce the number of workers just a tad.
Okay, they are working. I've got seven uh, laborers and builders. The tailor should be ready. Yes. Okay, let's actually start with the butcher. How much honey do I have and wax? Mm -hmm. I don't have that much leather, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. No survival codes. He's presumably working on, on firewood as well. How can I slaughter them? I do not know. Sheep butcher. Controls the number of animals to keep in the pasture. Exceeding this account will result in livestock being slaughtered. Okay, obviously I now need to reduce the number. So let's say I always want to have 19 or let's say 18. And now he should start butchering them. Now the tailor, tailor is supposed to make wool coats. Nice. That'll be good for the diet of my people. Paprika, broccoli, coffee. Nah. I think I'm going to shut down this trading post for now. Because I can't think of anything that I need right here. Gives me one additional laborer. What about the cemetery? Okay, the cemetery is already full. It's obviously quite annoying. This is really nice here. Okay, this is not so nice because it's blocking the road. Where it would... Well, where it's supposed to go. I might have to delete that house eventually. I'd like that wheel to be turning. Okay, now I re nearly ran out of stone. That is because... I need more coal. an additional coal miner. Let's reduce the number of people working here. There's a fire. Oh no. Okay, luckily there's a well. The structure has been severely damaged. I guess that's maybe a problem with the log cabins. I should potentially build a well up here as well. Everyone is helping. This is... Oh no. This is really horrible. I need more wells to be honest. This is now a disaster. How many stones for a stone house? 40. Okay, now it's kind of under control. Uh, let's remove the structure. And this one, because they are too badly damaged, I think. 
and this one can be rebuilt. No, I would need to tear it down completely. So let's remove them all three and replace them with stone houses. They also consume a bit less um, firewood. Good thing I've got the well here. And I'm very much inclined to build one somewhere over here as well. So town services. A roadless well, maybe? Just so I have a well. This would look quite nice, right? Maybe like so. It's costly. I kind of need more stone colors, to be honest. I've wasted my stones a little bit, maybe. Let's actually rebuild this one. I won't be able to afford all that. Alright. I will eventually put a hunter up here. Producing some wool curls. Still has meat. The stone house here. Let's increase the iron limit or maybe shut down that work that one as well. Let's shut this one down. Giving me some more labor. Should work a bit faster here. So I've got some homeless people. Kind of almost got enough stone. So I'll already tell them to build another stone house here. And they should bring the resources needed. Oh no, the forester was killed by a falling tree. That's very unfortunate. I don't have a graveyard left. Reserve of stone is low. Yes, unfortunately it is. some candles. Nothing that I need. Him and there's another boat coming. Frisian cows, now that's tempting. So, 
how much are six Frisian cows? Four thousand eight hundred. How much can I afford? Two hundred forty. Two hundred. Two hundred forty. And two hundred forty. Well, I can afford five. Get rid of 80, so that's like 20 ish. Right? Oh no, I miscalculated. 140. 144. 160. There we go, that's straight. And then I want, need to make space for them, obviously. They are pasture, and that's going to happen in the next episode of Let's Play Banished. This house is also already ready. Nice. And then, yeah, thanks a lot for watching. Until then. Why is no one. Uh, someone should be working here. Okay. Thanks a lot. Until then. Bye for now.